The Personification of Winter 2 by Harry Andrew Jones Chapter 1 1st of January 2025 UK slash Northampton slash England Jalonkali is sitting on a gravestone, using his power to float a snowflake around his hands. He stopped and he got off the gravestone and he walked towards the village. He walked through the village, but then there was a deep voice coming from the sky. Jalonkli, the voice said. Come to heaven. I want to show you something. God, Jalonkli said. Is that you? Yes, Jalonkli, it is. Now come to heaven. There was a staircase coming down from the sky. Everyone was speechless by what they had seen. Jalonkli walked up the staircase to heaven. God was sitting on his throne with death sitting next to him. God has white skin with short white hair and yellow eyes. He wears a white long wavy robe with a white aura around his body. Death, on the other hand, has pale skin with black eyes and black hair. And he wears a black robe with a hood on his head. And he holds a scythe. Jalonkali, God said as he walked towards him with his hand on Jalonkali's shoulder. I like to introduce you to my son, Death. Hello, Jalonkali said as he waved. Hi. Death said with a deep, raspy voice. Is this what you want to show me is your son? Jalonkali asked. Not just that. God said. This. God used his power to clear the clouds out of the way. There is a new planet that God created. The planet is called Kleisenia. It's beautiful, Jalonkali said. Jalonkali turned his head to God. What is it? That, my friend. God said as he pointed to Kleisenia. Is Kleisenia. Mm -hmm. When can we go there? Jalonkli asked. Tomorrow, my friend. Tomorrow. God said. God? He said. Yes, Jonkly? God said. Remember back in 1764? When we got drunk by drinking 4,000 mugs of beer and we tried to fight Philip Red Anderson, but we passed out because we got so drunk. 
yes, Jolokli. Indeed we did. God said. God, when did you create Chrysinger? He asked. I created it after I created the universe and the world. It used to be a safe and a beautiful place, but for so many years, Kleisinger becomes old and an unsafe toxic world that can kill humans instantly. I went in there once, and I saw that the creatures I made have become mutated and unstoppable and very dangerous. And I realize that the creatures can kill gods like us. And I saw that the creatures has gained the ability to run really, really faster than the human eye can see. So, I use my powers to get out of that place once and for all. Jalonkali, listen to me. Tomorrow when we go there, stay away from them. They are fast, and they can rip us to shreds if we're not careful. So promise me, you will stay away from them tomorrow. God warned Jalonkali. Yes, I will, God. I promise you. Jalonkali said. Thank you. Get some sleep, Jalonkali. God said as he created Jalonkali's bed. Chapter 2 2nd of January, 2025 Jalonkli woke up and God is towering him. It's time. God said. Jalonkli got up from his bed. Death, Jalonkli, come here. Death and Jalonkli went to God, and they stand in a line. I'm going to make two rules, God said. Rule one, don't go towards the creatures. And rule two, stay close to me. Do you understand that? Yes. Death? God asked. Yes. Death said. Very good. God said as he turned towards Kleisinger. God used his powers to levitate himself, Jalonkli, and death towards Kleisinger, and they arrived at Kleisinger. The place looks grey, dull, and lifeless. The air is toxic, and there are ashes surrounding the place. God turned his head towards death and Jalonkli. Stay close to me. God said, as he, Death, and Jalonkali walked. God, Jalonkali, and Death is still walking through Kleisinger, but Jalonkali found something. Jalonkali run towards it. Hey, come here, I found something. God and Death walked towards him. I think it's some kind of diary that was abandoned. Give me a junkly. 
God said. Jalonkali gave God the diary, and God opened the book, and he read it. First of September, twenty fifteen. Day one. This place is so toxic, I can't even breathe out there. I really need to get out of this place. This is all my fault for coming here. I should not be here. God read the next page. Second of September, twenty fifteen. Day two. I heard something. There's someone coming towards me. I don't know what it is or who it is, but it's coming for me. God read the next and final page. Third of September, twenty fifteen. Day three. That thing is not human, and it's looking for me. This is my last page, because I don't know if I would live or die by these fucking monsters. Please, if you are reading this diary, please run. God close the diary, but then there is a sound coming from behind the trees. It was a screech. They're coming. Run! God said, as he, Jalonkali, and Death run back to where they were before when they entered Kleisenia. Chapter 3 the creatures come towards them. They are humanoid creatures with no eyes and no mouth. They have sharp claws that can cut through anything. And they can run faster than the human eye can see. God tries to use his powers to levitate himself, Jalonkali and Death. But it's slowly recharging. Come on, hurry up! Jalonkli said. It's recharging. God said. Jalonkli uses cryokinesis to blast the creatures away, and Death is using his scythe to kill the creatures. Is it recharging yet? Jalonkli shouted at God. Not yet. God said. Jalonkli uses his powers to blast away the creatures, and Death is using his scythe to kill the creatures. Come on, hurry up! Jalonkli shouted as he blasted away the creatures with his powers. It's recharged! God shouted as he used his powers to levitate himself, Jalonkli, and Death back to heaven. Thank you, Father. Death said. Jalonkli was breathing heavily. The end.